David, tell me about your aviation adventures around Australia. So I started flying about 20 years ago and um, got my private pilot's licence and then uh, 15 years later found myself a job in Darwin, flying around Australia for the Bible Society. During those four to five years, I had a lot of experience flying into remote airstrips and uh, gained some interesting experience along the way. How long at a time would you be away from home? Uh, generally two to three weeks I'd be away from Darwin. So again, that takes a lot of careful planning. So yeah. some of the things that I learned is um, you're relying on information for airstrips, but you're also relying on information to get access to food or water or fuel and applying that to your trip was quite important. Often you don't even know when you're going to get to the next bathroom, so that can be part of your <laughs> There's planning. a challenge. <laughs> the pre-trip planning process on the ground is absolutely essential. So there's things like, well, what is the weather doing? What's it likely to be doing in a few days' time? Is it better to delay the trip? Um, where can I get fuel? Is it reliable fuel? Is there a fuel truck? Is it a fuel drum? Um, I had an experience where uh, a 15 knot tailwind turned into a 40 knot headwind so I needed to do a 200 nautical mile diversion to get to a small community that I knew had fuel and they had 10 drums of avgas and only one of them at the very back was in date. So oh. just things like that <laughs> that you need to start to think about. That was out in the middle of the Tamanai Desert so maybe plan via Tennant Creek where you know you can have a reliable fuel supply and that type of thing. Any plans for an adventure for yourself? I'd like to fly around Australia again, but for now it's working with MAF, training the next generation of pilots to be able to fly in the outback and in New Guinea and also in Africa. Oh mate, it's been awesome meeting you. Thanks mate.